Welcome to Beating Cancer Daily. Beating stage four cancer for 30 years still takes my breath away every time I say it. I'm Saren, founder of the Comedy Cures Foundation, and I hope you'll join me for just a few minutes daily for the next 365 days so we may laugh, learn, maybe cry a little as we live our best days beating cancer daily together. I want to talk about mind, body, and spirit scans. They are not reimbursable by insurance, (laughs) but they don't cost anything except for your time. And they have saved my life on several occasions. How could something that doesn't cost anything that's a scan save my life? Because I am so in tune with my body, way beyond things appearing on scans or in blood tests. When something's not right, I catch it pretty quickly and I bring it to the attention of my medical team. Don't get me wrong, I still do traditional scanning, of course, through my medical team, but I have also had so much radiation in my lifetime between the 44 radiation treatments for cancer and then many, many decades of scanning that they really are very careful about how much radiation that I get going forward because they don't want to cause a secondary cancer from being over-radiated, which I've already been. So the fact that I can really be in tune with my body and see if things are starting to cook, that really helps them not over-scan me. So... I don't know if you've ever tried this before, but it actually can be a lot of fun. First, I need to share this bit of humor with you. What did the meditation teacher say when trying to teach a meditative body scan technique? I want you to take three deep, slow breaths and then very slowly Let go of your mobile phone. (laughs) Come on, you know we're all addicted to our phones. And you know that you'd have that mobile phone right near you when you were trying to do this technique. So I'm just calling us all out before we get started. Okay, so back to the technique. So why do I do this multifaceted scan? I watched several people who I find very talented medical professionals do this to me and for me and with me. And after I observed three different techniques, I thought, well, why can't I do that myself? I mean, I love working with them. One was a Jin Shin Jitsu master, an amazing person. I'm going to use the word healer because I happen to believe that there are people that walk this earth who are healers and can impact your mind, body, and spirit. And this gentleman did. He retired very late in age, and I credit him with being one of the reasons why I stayed so healthy through all my treatments. Another person was a consagrity master, I still work with her. She's amazing. I watched her do amazing things in diagnosing and scanning my body, mind, and spirit. Another one was a cranial sacral practitioner in New York City. I may have mentioned him before. I credit him with why I got pregnant so fast. And I think I made the joke on another episode that he didn't impregnate me, but he just cleared the channels with his body energy. That doesn't sound right. (laughs) He cleared my channels with his energy, not with his body, with his energy. There have been several others. So once I saw them do it with my body, I realized, hey, I could probably do this for myself. So they all gave me different techniques and I've made this into one 
goulash, one stew of body scanning. The first thing I do is I do turn off my phone. This can happen pretty quickly. I do it on a daily basis. I lie down in a quiet place with no technology on and I just take a few deep breaths. I feel the weight of my body against the bed. I also can do it on a chair if I want to and I feel the weight of my body on the chair. I feel the weight of my feet on the floor if I'm sitting in a chair. And after taking a few deep breaths, I go through starting at the top of my head Do I feel any pain, tension, anxiety, discomfort? Does anything feel like it's just not sitting well in my head? Then I go down to my neck. I ask those same questions of my neck. And then I go to my shoulders. Now we all have a lot of tension in our shoulders, but I just breathe through it. I feel what that feels like. And all this is done so every day I have a baseline of where I stand in my body, mind, and spirit. Now, there's a lot of stuff going on in my mind, and I'm sure yours too, because I'm constantly thinking about what I'm doing to stay healthy and happy and positive. And when I'm not healthy, what does that feel like? And how can I report that to my medical team? Or talk to someone about a psychological feeling that feels out of place or painful or off. So this works in the psychological realm too. And then lastly, in the spiritual realm, do I feel some kind of disconnection from my creator? Do I feel that I'm not restoring myself or or improving myself spiritually or reinforcing my faith. And again, this is non-denominational. It doesn't matter what faith you have. Just are you connecting with your higher source if you believe there is one? Now, just back to the body scan. I go through my whole body. I spend extra time at my chest area, my lymph nodes, because that's where I had a lot of cancer activity. And then I go to different spots on my body where I had metastasis, make sure that's clean. And then I work down through my digestive system, my reproductive system, even though I'm past childbearing age, it's more about intimacy and sexuality and sensuality. Do I feel that all that is in a good place? And then through all my different muscles and my joints, and I do that all the way down to the tips of my toes. And it'll be interesting because I will find different tensions and things that I wasn't even aware of because my adrenaline's going so much every day. I'm trying to accomplish a lot. I'm so focused on this podcast and the Comedy Cures Foundation and on my friends and my family. So I'll discover things in this mind-body-spirit scan that I wasn't even aware of because I was just busy living my life and my day. So it's a really good reboot, reset. And then if something is wrong, I track that over a few days. And if it gets worse or it's staying the same, I make note of that and I decide whether to call a doctor, a therapist, a friend, or a theologian, a clergy person. And there's different people that can help you with different things that are popping up in these three areas. So I really hope that you try this. Start slowly. I do all three, but you can just start with your body. And then as you get more comfortable, pick up the other areas or start whichever area you feel most comfortable or that you feel needs attention. And as I said, when something is going awry, I do reach out to a medical professional and tell them, I just had a medical thing pop up that's not cancer related. And I contacted my medical team and said something was going wrong and something was off. And I actually saved my life. I might even go into it in other episodes 
I just want to focus on you right now. And I want you to know that this has served me so well, not only in my cancer journey, when things weren't going well, in my diagnosis from cancer, but now on smaller issues that have popped up, being so in tune and so connected, I've been able to literally save my own life. So I hope this rings true for you. I hope you try it. And you know, I love to hear from you. So go to comedycures.org and hit the record button or write us and let me know from the website how you're doing and how this has helped you. If you have a great strategy about scanning your mind, body, or spirit, let me know. And hopefully I can share it on a future podcast. And always, if you have a good joke, about it. Please. I love to laugh. Have a blessed day and I'll see you tomorrow. I hope you guys know this, but Beating Cancer Daily is a listener and donor supported podcast and community. So if you have some extra change, I'd love you to go to comedycures.org and make a donation today of whatever level is comfortable for you. And it will be tax deductible to the extent allowed by law because Comedy Cures is a nonprofit 501c3 organization founded from my chemo chair, April 1999. And we've been going strong ever since. So please consider making a donation today and help our community, and this podcast thrive. Thanks so much. See you tomorrow. Guess what time it is? It's time for me to read the disclaimer. Beating Cancer Daily and the Membership Circle are not in lieu of medical advice or treatment. They are for entertainment purposes only. Please consult your healthcare team to review your best strategy. Thanks for listening.